Oh my goodness, pare! You cool at me when you left all of a sudden. After waiting for a while, I guess that you would be at the party. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Sorry about that. Let's just go to the party. <coughs> oh! This is Mark. He's not coming around here, so I lent him some of your clothes. Not the ones laying out. I hope those were dirty. <coughs> Sorry, Mark. Look, there she is. You should go do something while she's still alone. I don't know. She's just so beautiful. I can't do it. You're a good guy, pare. Don't you ever second guess her. Plus, you're very guapo. Like a tiger, remember? What are you guys talking Rad. about? Look, can we go now? Help me find out to get home, maybe? Come on, you act like this girl's important. Maybe he's right. Don't listen to people who don't know what they're talking about. Just go there and talk to her. Whatever, man. You guys can go waste your time talking to these lamos. I'll be back. I gotta find a bathroom. Ari? Has my guest arrived yet? The Filipino, madame? Uh, no, I can't say I've seen him yet. You must fancy him. He's the only thing you've ever talked about ever since that day at the bakery. My apologies. It's just that I have never met someone like him before. That's when I meet a lot of people anyway. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure I am. He wouldn't leave a beautiful girl like you when attended at this party. Thank you, that means so much. Remember, not a word to talk first. Yanni, what if I am wasting my time? Don't mind that boy, Manuel. What does he even know? You went all this way for Rose, didn't you? The only time you're wasting right now is time spent with her. Now go! Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my daughter Rose, I would like to make a toast. I am thankful that you can all attend this special night. Tonight, we celebrate not just one special occasion, but two. My daughter's birthday and engagement to this gentleman, Mr. <laughs> Cortez Quintara. Thank you, Jim. I am more than honored to take your daughter's hand in marriage, and with it, I knew this whole thing was stupid, Bayani. I should have known my place. Don't say that. You. Come on, let's go home. Guys, wait up! Why are you guys leaving? Did you check out those people dancing? That guy had some pretty slick moves. Please, don't mention Rose and Cortez to Manuel right now. Wait, hold on a minute. What did you say? Don't mention Rose to Manuel. Wait, Manuel? Who's Manuel? Pare, are you okay? Manuel is the guy that you came here with. But I thought his name was Monmon. Monmon? Mon -mon? No, his name is Manuel. But people call him Monmon. -mon. When we were little, I used to make fun of him for it because it sounds like a sponge cake. You know, that sweet, delicate sponge cake? Mmm, pangon. Not that I can make fun of him now. He looks so kawawa. He just might give up on Rose. Oh my god. I, I can't believe this. This is like the diary. But, ah, what should I do? Diary? What are you talking about? I can't let this happen. I've got to help him! Osman, you don't look so well. I can't believe that she's getting married. There's no way I can compete with a man like Cortez. Yes, you can, Monmon. You saved me with a bucket of water. <laughs> and you barely even know me. How, how can he compare to you? But that was nothing. This is something entirely different. I don't know if she feels the same way. Monmon. You told me that you knew deep down that you two were meant together. I know that feeling I feel every time I'm with Jeff. Yes, you're right. I know. I must tell her how I feel. But look, you'll never know until you try. Are you willing to give all my rose just like that? Are you going to let Cortez steal this opportunity from you? I know Rose is the love of your life. Trust me. How are you sure? Just go tell her! Alright, I'll tell it.
Ciao.